Make some noise for the one and only William Montgomery, everybody. Wow, look at this guy. He's back, everyone. William Montgomery. It's good up for Larry Montgomery, my dad. Why'd you fuck that up? You piece of shit. No, but seriously, you all's uh, excited about Stargate Atlantis Season 5 coming out tomorrow. Uh, I would like to first and foremost thank Richard and Stephen Jarmones of uh, the Fantastic Sam's in Memphis, Tennessee. They not only gave me hell of a haircut, but also hell of a life lesson. Uh, there will always be a bomb in the bomb maker's home. They're big fans of the movie Speed. Uh, I would also like to give a moment of silence to Kathy, the owl lady of Barnum and Bailey's. Uh, she taught me how to fly last week, sadly three nights ago. Uh, she jumped off the roof of her house trying to fly and, and died. <laughs> All right, another, that's as William Montgomery as it gets. Make some noise for William, everybody. A new minute. Now, let me just... If I, if I could say one thing, the man who was up here, he literally is related to me uh, a couple of Christmases ago. He touched my penis. No, he didn't. William, no, he does this. I'm sorry, guys. He does this every week. He comes up here and he lies. That man lives in England. He did not touch your penis, William, and he's not related to you. We were... You always say this. We know your parents. I was on Abbey Road three years ago with that man... In a taxi, he started touching my penis. I had to tell him, "No." Oh, I'm upset. <laughs> That's my thing. <laughs> Why would you say it like that? Because I grew up uh, next to Abbey Road in some apartments. <laughs> what? <laughs> we never knew this about you. My rent was six hundred and fifty uh, quid. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, my God. They don't even have quid in England. Which equals out to... Uh, what are those suckers that have the Tootsie Rolls in the middle? They were called Tootsie, Tootsie Pops. Pops. Tootsie Pops, yeah. 650 uh, quid comes out to three Tootsie Pops. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> All right. William, you, you are much... Believe it or not, this is your first time seeing William. Let me tell you, this is the, about the cleanest cut William Montgomery we've wow. ever seen. I know a lot of you are thinking, who is this trucker pig? But uh, this is the best version of him we've ever seen. I thought he came from a wedding. Just picture maybe a cut scene, me and Red Band literally in a cab of an 18-wheeler, just going through the parking lots, finding women prostitutes, poisoning them, cutting them with our knives. Red Band looking at me, asking me, William, hold on, get the map out. Where are we? Wow. It wasn't a map, though. Red Band, don't fuck this up. This is the best <laughs> set I fucking had. William, so welcome Can back. Can I get something off my chest? Uh, oh, gosh. That looks like the only place where you don't have something hidden. All right. Literally, I don't, I don't know if it was two or three months ago, I was with a red band in the bathroom of a Wendy's. We were swapping pills, swapping, you name it, we were swapping it. Why are you talking about this right now? <laughs> So, William, you're, you just went home. Can you tell us some real things that happened in your real life? Can you get real with us for a second? You were just home with uh, Larry and Francis Montgomery, who we know who have been on this show. Very sweet parents you have. We don't know how this demon seed came to be. but Because they're just lovely, honest humans. And they Hold on, sir. Is your birthday March 6th? Wait a second. Yes, <laughs> it's March he didn't say yes, William. He actually didn't say yes at all. No, but back home was fun. Uh, I got two pairs of Levi's jeans. I don't know if y'all wear the 505s. I'm currently a 3632. 
Are you really? 36, 32. Red Bean, why'd you fucking put that on? <laughs> ta- ta- William, can I be honest with you? It does seem like you are gaining weight in the middle area of your body and your face, like at a very fast rate. Have you noticed this? That there's Have you ever heard of the cookie? It has one of the delicacies. It's a, a, called a prune. Um, in the middle of it, it has cookie outer sides. Do you all know that cookie? Fig Newton? Fig Newtons. I've been eating... Fig Newtons like it's my fucking job. Ew. Oh I God. forgot how to fucking swim. Tony? Oh, my God. Tony, when William was in Memphis, me and David Lucas prank called him on a podcast, and uh, we, we pranked his mom. I don't know if you want to hear really a quick bad. clip of that. Wow. No, what, what happened there? Before I get into that, it is so nice looking at y'all. Y'all are so sweet He's to invite at me and Louis to J. the Gomez. Skank Fest South. Thank y'all so much. It's a big announcement. William, they didn't invite you. They literally didn't invite you. That, 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 that didn't happen at any point of, of this show. Last year, you had an opportunity. That was perfect, Red Band. Last year, you had an opportunity to get flown out to Skank Fest. Louis J. gave you a chance, and you got beat by a handicapped Asian man. Remember that? <laughs> what was the game? It was a joke off, and William went with his best joke, but then the handicapped guy like came up I, uh, and he has, like, I like it when my mom goes Steve out of town because I get to sleep on her side of the bed. There it is. There's the joke. But these people, how many of you have heard him say that joke before? Everyone you don't raise America. hands. You clap hands when you're at a live comedy venue person back there. Jesus. Yeah, where are we? Saudi Arabia? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, but yeah, Tony, seriously, it's sort of a hard thing to think about. After he beat me, I started eating those candy bars that have the sort of buttery thing. The butter fingers started <laughs> eating those buttery a whole bunch. <laughs> now I know you're fucking with us a little started bit. Started eating a bunch of of Nestle crunches, started drinking some wine. What just happened? All right, William. William. It was Steve Lee. Cut the mic. I don't know what's going on. Jeremiah, what are you doing exactly? Is this this back on? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, his mic went off. Oh, that was that mic. Just trying to fill those dead spots, Ken. Well... The whole, the whole reason. When that I was back is- home in Memphis, I had a bit of an identity crisis, if you want to call it that. I was playing something called the Ouija board. I was talking to my deceased grandmother, B. Vance. She was telling me, "Start losing weight. Learn how to swim. Learn how to read." Okay. Get into a technical college. <laughs> Okie dokie, William. Uh, we're going we're gonna to end it there. Did you listen to anything that your aunt told you on the Ouija board? I did. I now chew a, a brand of bubblegum called Big League Chew. Okay, all right, William. All right. Uh, we love you. you. That was another new minute, a long interview. We got through it nice again. William you. Montgomery, everybody. He's back. We didn't have him on last week. He went back home. You wouldn't have, you, we found out nothing about his trip back home. Maybe we'll hear more about that next week. Ow. It's very strong. <laughs>